Aiden. That looks magnifico. Oh, that was stupid. Um, well, anyway, a few of us are going to get some some uh, coffee if you want to come. Uh, My stomach hurts. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. Me, me too. Open the door. Okay. The back. Who was that? Some bitch. Hey, does this bitch have a name? I don't know. She looked like she was going to ask you out, champ. Uh, yeah. She thinks I'm gay. Don't call me champ. Oh, okay, Mr. Grumpy Pants. I was just trying out some new nicknames. No champ, got it. You know, you could tell us if you were. We wouldn't be weird about it. Jesus fucking Christ. Steph, come on. He's not gay. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, if he was, we would still love him. Yeah, but he's not. Yeah, but yeah, that's not the point. The point is, he needs to know that he's accepted. The point is, is he isn't gay, so... Well, that's actually there's not no my point. point. It's my a moot point. point. They should burn this fucking place down, man. A buddy of mine told me someone died in the room upstairs. Steve blew his fucking brains out. Apparently it smells like death up there. And one whiff will make you fucking chundy all over the place. So you wanna check it out? No. What the hell you wanna do then? Jack. Yeah, buddy. Can we do that? Do what? Burn something. You sure about this?
for the degree to this day. Byron notes that two surgeons were shot before this could harm. Unfortunately, one passenger didn't make it alive. The survivors of the crash were unfortunately also very well injured. Some ended falling victim to a cult, which, I mean, wasn't great, obviously. Stan, we've got to stop indulging him. You sound like your father. Yeah, well, maybe he's right. Our son's lost. Maybe we need to, to give him a little tough love. It's our fucking fault and you know it. I wasn't the one who gave our son snacks, Dad. He fucked that up all on his own. Jack needs to learn to live without leaning on us. Come on, we're going for a ride. wanted to talk to you about something. We were thinking that maybe it would be good if you tried to get into something at school. It's good to have friends. Be part of something bigger than yourself. How to Burn a House Down 101. I need not explain myself to you. You don't know the things I've seen, the things I've lived through. Besides, who are you to judge the damned? It will not help. You need a source, a spark. Matches work. They burn in the urge and leave a trace of phosphorus and sulfate. It's nasty stuff, but better than a lighter. Already the village freak. 
They all want me to fail. I can smell it on them. Non-monitored pump. Pay with grandpa's birthday card cash. Old shit kicks the bucket. Card came a week later. Still six months off, but who'd have thought it? Shoes too big so they can't trace the footprint. The late pops can provide those too. An ironic death with an ocean burial. Alibi. Tricky. I don't have any fucking friends. I never saw the camaraderie the bitch talks about. She used to love that thing before she went all... Steph and Greg became mom and dad real quick. There's a hell of a lot more Jetsons now than Beatles. At any rate, they fucked up with Jack. That's not conjecture, that's fact. And the ash under my nails is on par with the blood under theirs. Upset with us or something? We found Jack, okay? He is. was. in rehab. He's out now, though. The doctor said he should be somewhere safe. The doctor so... Okay, let me finish. You. He needs to be somewhere safe with us. I say it, Dad says it, okay? But he's got one shot. One. And you can't get mad like last time and try to set the house. Well, I just thought you would want to know. Thank you. Really. facility so clean and nice it was like I was at a five-star hotel <laughs> how did you pay for it <laughs> Greg. no mom it's okay uh, this is all part of the program you know I need to ask for forgiveness I did a lot of really shitty stuff and I haven't been the greatest kid I know that but I'm three months sober and I I'm taking it one day at a time I'm hoping I can just work towards earning your trust again. We're just happy to have you back. Holy shit, when did you grow up like that? I know. He looks like a man more and more every day. Yo, I'd say he's already there.
Jack, what? How the hell did you afford a car? Man, you think I'm gonna pick up my little brother in a piece of shit? <laughs> Get in, loser. Uh, hey, Aiden. Um, you of us are going to that coffee shop again. I don't know if you. I have a stomach ache, so. What the fuck are you doing? That girl is hot as shit, dude. I don't know. Bro, come on. Jack. Shut Jack. up. Shut up. <clears throat> He can't right now, because we have to go to a party, a uh, cooler one for older people, you know, no big deal, but how about Friday? Uh, okay, sure. Cool. See you then. See? This is how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> Going to a party? Dude, I'm straight out of rehab. No, we're not going to a party, but I got something better. Holy shit, you remember this? This used to be the fucking place, bro. Oh shit. I remember these. They're really lame, right? Hey, Jack. Remember we used to play ball in there? Or I'd play and let you watch? Jesus. Such a prick. Remember when we were gonna light this place on fire? Holy shit, we were crazy, man. You. You were a little pyro. Oh, man. You know, I was just... I was just throwing the idea out there, you know, but you, you man, you were dead serious. Fuck. I set off a chain, you know. Sometimes wonder what would have happened. Oh, well, I mean, everything worked out for the best, right? Came out stronger because of it all. Guess I got you to thank, asshole. Eh? <laughs> hey? Come on. You know, uh, you were right about the rumor. Top floor smells like shit. You went? Jesus, man, that's punk rock. That wasn't the worst thing I ever smelled. <laughs> Why don't you like that girl? She's cute. She thinks I'm gay. What? No, she doesn't. She doesn't, trust me. For real? Yeah, trust me, I know these things. Besides, you know, even if she does, I could always just show her the magazines I found under your bed. <laughs> Women of hell. Shh, paging Dr. Freud. <laughs> oh, fuck. You know those things burn you from the inside, eh? One can hope. And the, the guy literally has drum fast tattooed oh, on his mouth. Oh, hey boys. Hey, uh, uh, I got some pizza. Pineapples in the kitchen. Let me pay back for that. Oh no, it's all good. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I'll go grab a slice. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, that's enough. sick, man. That's sick. Yeah. Where does he get money for pizza? He has a job. Jack has a job. Jack! Give your son a chance, all right? He's changed a lot. I've given him a chance. I've given him plenty of chances. I just don't want him to ruin Aiden, okay? Your sons are having fun, laughing and watching movies in the living room. Laughing, Greg. When I heard Aiden laugh, I ran into the other room because I thought he was hurt. I couldn't remember what his laughter sounded like. Just relax and... Well, let me uh, stop you. We're out of milk. He did all that shit under your roof. Who the fuck are you to judge?
know if he likes me like that. You know what I mean? Like, ugh, he's just so stupid. Boys are so stupid. Just like text me back, you know? I don't know how we deal with them. Hey, can you get out the way? Brother? Yeah. Oh! No, no, no. Oh. My car, cut. Steph. We laid a bad egg. It's done. Shut the fuck up, you smug asshole. He who not looks to the earth in times... Hayden. Honey, what happened? Honey, what what happened? Where, where's Jack? Your brother's a fuck, baby. He's probably responsible for that. Tell me I'm wrong. Shut the fuck up and help your son. Honey, honey what happened? Where's Jack? Hi. Honey, Jack had to leave. We caught him stealing from my purse, and I, I don't think he actually was sober, baby. You know it would be better for them. Better for you, you mean? Of course it would be. And you. Us. He will forgive us for leaving. You can't put Aiden through that again. Our son's not well. He needs the healing he can get there. He can't get it anywhere else. Don't you care? It'll do him any good. The only place that can.
Locals mourn the death today of beloved member of the community, Jack Crowley, who passed away early today in the tragic rogue abandoned house fire. Officials are still yet to comment on the origin of the fire, but it's speculated it was started by Crowley himself, who was found in the remains of the dilapidated second floor, presumed to be asleep. More on the story later tonight. Thank you. 